sorry, I need some drink, otherwise this will not, never work, I think. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am very honored uh, to be here tonight. Um, uh, it is, has been very interesting so far. I expected exactly what happened. So uh, I was quite happy that I did not actually write a speech uh, or, or write my debate beforehand because I thought it makes no sense to actually say something that is not in any way related to what was said before. Um, just a short, very important uh, fact, um, as many of you probably know, that I have been in the adult industry for, for quite some time, but I have left it two years ago. And I didn't really uh, want to stay in it, but not because I, I, I didn't like it or think I'm, or I suddenly changed my opinion that I, I shouldn't have worked in it, uh, but merely because I, I feel that I have other things I can do, so therefore it was time to leave. Um, just so that nobody claims that I changed my mind because this is somehow uh, some of the misquotes I have had in, in the past uh, year or two. Um, when I was uh, invited to the Oxford Union, um, I decided that I will talk about this again because it is important to me and uh, I think it's an important subject to talk about because it, is, is, it has been around for a very long time and it will be around for a very long time. Um, the main point that the opposition has made um, is rather graphic, in my opinion, uh, which I understand um, because all the things that have been said that is truly very bad in, in, in the sex industry. Uh, I fully agree with that it is bad. There's no doubt about that. Um, the, the problem, though, is, in, in my opinion, that um, continuing to discuss the fact that all of this is so bad will not actually solve the problem at hand, uh, which is that this industry exists. And uh, even when I leave it, it will still exist after that. And I would love to live in a pink world where I can say sex work will stop in a year or two or ten. But I honestly do not think that will happen. It has been the oldest industry and it will remain the oldest industry and it will remain here. Uh, and I fully understand that some people might think this is bad and some people might think it's, it's okay in some way, shape or form. But However much you, you hate the fact that it is here, again, it will not leave or, or disappear all of a sudden. Um, I think the problems that we need to solve in this industry, both sides agree on in the end. At least I hope so, because I fully agree with, obviously, I want nobody to be hurt. Uh, I expect that, um, and expected it when I was working in the industry, that everybody was there working as a free person and wasn't forced to do so. And I am very confident, considering the fact of everything I know, that this was the case. Um, so I do agree uh, that obviously we have to find a way to uh, stop um, harmful acts against the people in the industry, which goes for both women and men, which is also very important, please, uh, because it is always, always the case that, the, the, that the, the, the opposition keeps saying, talking only about, 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 about females that are being hurt. Uh, that is not the case. It is on both ends of the, of the spectrum, and the industry is much bigger than just a uh, female side. Uh, the, the gay industry uh, is very, very, very big, um, and it is, uh, in many ways, has as brutal, quote-unquote, scenes as they were described before, as in the, in the female industry, also in, in the gay industry. Um, so, the, uh, the, 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 the question that I would love to hear an actual answer on is why actually uh, we should not embrace sex work as a career choice, because I have not really heard an argument that clearly says uh, why it shouldn't be the case, because everything is said about how bad pornography is, or similar things like that, but uh, there's no solution presented to fix the actual problem at hand, at least not to me, because the solution is not to say in two years there will be no more adult entertainment or pornography, sadly. It will not, it will not happen. Uh, therefore, um, I, I, in my opinion, sorry, in my, in my opinion, <laughs> Um, uh, it, is, it is important to um, empower the women and the men in this industry 
uh, and give them the freedom uh, either through decri decriminalization, uh, as been said before, um, but more importantly also to provide them a safe working environment. Uh, but to do so, you need to also legalize some aspects which do not directly involve the women themselves, like brothels, in my opinion. Um, in Germany, for example, as was mentioned, uh, and in other countries, um, brothels are fully legal as long as people working there do not actively promote uh, prostitution, meaning it is a law that is, exists so that pimps can basically not thrive. Obviously, as is in many, many different industries, laws are not perfect and there's always people that try to divert them, but it doesn't change the fact that they exist. And for me, what I've seen, it has at least helped give those women that, uh, and, and men that, that are in the industry and want to do it in a way where they feel safe, they have the chance to do so if they choose the right area of, 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 of work. Um, I, I do also uh, have to comment on the last speaker a bit, um, because, uh, yeah, well, first of all, just a small explanation, uh, which is not that important in this case, but um, on Pornhub, she has said that uh, it has a very interesting and very graphic description. The description is not there because Pornhub sees itself as some graphic extreme website. The description is simply this way because it improves search engine uh, placements and we get more traffic. <laughs> that is honestly the only, only reason. Which might be sad in some way, of shape or form, but for me, this was very important in many, many ways because I knew the way I ran the business I, I, in my opinion at least, protected everyone as much as I could. So I do prefer people coming to my websites than going to others which are much more, uh, more underground, so to speak, and do not control so much. So uh, I, I do feel that I did help a bit. But anyway, um, the, um, the, the, the also the, the work that was done mm, against the AHF in California uh, was not done because we, we don't think that we should protect our performers. Obviously, we don't think that. It would be insane. But the rules and regulations that were suggested in the campaign by the AHF was, was, was rules and regulations that did not solve the actual problem. Just as here, the suggestions that you have made to solve or to, or why you do not want sex work uh, to be a career choice, do not actually address the actual issue at hand, in my opinion. Uh, and la last, I, I need to mention your anal sex comment, uh, because I think there's plenty of gay people on this planet that have anal sex all the time, and it seems to be fine. Now, maybe they are doing this because of being forced also. I don't know. I don't think so. So, um, therefore, <laughs> I think that is a bit of a harsh uh, statement to say that anal sex is therefore somehow bad and therefore it should not be practiced or should not appear on, on, on websites anywhere. Um, so for me, again, uh, it is very important that we need to find a way to make sex work a safe environment. And in, in my view, the only way to achieve this is to give them as enough choices and safe work environments, which can only be, be achieved by making it a fully legal uh, a job, and therefore the career choice is important that it is available, because it will not go away. Thank you. <laughs>